Hello, welcome to another one of our videos and today I'm going to quickly look at the dead hang exercise. I get a lot of questions about this one relating to its um, effectiveness with spinal decompression and also with shoulder mobility. Um, so let's have a look at it. It's a pretty simple exercise, really not much to look at. Um, firstly, when you do it, like just either stand on a box or like I'm standing on the sides of the um, the chin up bar here and then just using it to stop my legs from swinging um, and basically all I have to do is just hold on to this you know ideally for as long as you can but you know you want to build up if you haven't done it before so but you know try to get about you know 60 to 90 seconds maybe two minutes tops but most people might need to start with like 10 to 15 seconds reps and then you know have a break and then do them over and over but uh, as you can see, there's not really much to this, but having said that, there's a couple of things you do need to, to look at. And if I'll, I'll just go back a bit and you'll see there's a couple of things that I did do. Um, so firstly, once I started hanging, I just need to, like I said, firstly stop my legs from swinging. Um, but I, I want to also make sure that I get my shoulders in a good position here. So so uh, as you can see, I'm just slightly there. If I'd, just magnify it for you. Um, all right, so as you'll see me here, just gently try to get my scapula in a better position, and I'll pull myself up just that ever so slightly, so I don't hyperextend. Because this is one of the big problems with this exercise, in that it can uh, can cause a bit if you have hypermobility. So if we have shoulder instability, um, it can definitely be a real problem for you, you might be exposing it to too much trouble so you might need to upwardly rotate the scapula a bit more and pull it down but most people have no idea how to do that at the best of times so it might be really difficult to do on an exercise like this it might be just too difficult so that, that's one of the big problems I see with it in terms of shoulder stability if you're someone that's a bit stiff you might find that it benefits you in some way in helping you um, but I would say you would really get more effectiveness at targeting the uh, muscles that are more prone to that being pec minor, um, mulvata scapula, um, maybe the lats at times which are being definitely stretched in this but this is not really targeting very well. It does, the best thing it does is improves your grip strength so there is a real good, uh, so it's sort of like a, a combining step stability strength with mobility just the problems that I do encounter with this is the person who lacks control in the shoulder or maybe does not have enough strength. Um, they have to cheat on it and, it and the benefits that they may get are completely outweighed by the, by the problems it creates. Um, secondly, with the spinal decompression, um, I'll just play it again for you. Um, with the spinal decompression, there's no doubt it definitely does provide some of that because it does really stretch the body right out just by using gravity and pulling you apart but to say that it really does a lot to change it it really doesn't if anything I found when I tested it myself because I had a lot of compression from sacroiliac problems from arthritis so the compression at times had been a real problem for me so I thought I was a real good test case for this it kind of felt like it did stretch me out but when I went back to the ground, it didn't really resolve my ability to absorb compression when I'm standing up. If anything, it probably made me feel worse because I felt like even more unstable because I just stretched it all out. So it didn't really help me to learn how to decompress the spine. It just gave me a temporary relief from it. But, um, but again, the temporary relief was probably like outweighed by the fact that it, that it created more trouble for me when I was on the ground. So uh, I've said this many times in other videos is that if your underlying problem is how you're moving, like say in back pain, most of the time is poor bending movements or poor rotation movements or, um, you know, just a real dysfunctional way of overexposing the spine to flexion or extension, then you need to change those movements. That's the problem. It's not like trying to find a way to get traction so you can continue to move poorly that sort of like defeats the purpose and, in, and also with the shoulder thing coming back to that um, 
a lot of the shoulder problems are usually very heavily linked with serratus anterior and serratus anterior is developed through pushing strength or pushing patterns not from pulling movements so this is again where I probably see retraction of the shoulder and rowing movements and the person with the shoulder pain can still effectively do them but they're very very weak and extremely painful with all pushing things can barely do a push up against the wall it can barely you lift their arm above the head because the serratus anterior is usually inhibited so greatly um, in t and coming back to the um, the glutes and extension related people with flexion pro uh, with extension problems who probably benefit from this the most usually there's a problem with the glutes um, absorbing that and, and stopping the compression going to the sacroiliac joint again this exercise will do nothing to resolve that problem so so again like I'm not saying it's it's a useless exercise and probably saying it's more overrated and overstated as to its effectiveness I think if it's used well in conjunction if you don't have shoulder hypermobility or instability it may definitely complement if you what you're doing if you're learning how to develop good strength and stability with pushing patterns and and all the other things you need to do thoracic mobility um, and for back pain if you're working on bending correctly and mobilizing the hips strengthening your core and all, all the things associated with back pain maybe it's a good addition to add to your program you know but um, other than that I don't really see much benefit to using it myself I would probably develop devote more time to something that's really going to um, resolve the problem that I know that exists and in both cases this is not it all right so it's not necessarily a dangerous exercise or it can be for hypermobile shoulders but um, I don't really see much benefit to using it as opposed to everyone on social media saying it's great all right so that's my take on it um, you know you might disagree with me and that's fine um, but I yeah that's just how I found it and if you want to check out more there's an article I did about this you can check out in the description below all right otherwise other than that I'll see you on the next video